Well, my name is Dixie Dansakur. I'm quite active in the polar regions, which is at the same time my big passion for the outdoors. We push the limits and also products um, are sometimes either too frail or uh, not um, adapted to the polar regions. And that's where we met Materialize and so we decided to do something together. During the conversations, we uh, thought that it might be interesting to take the sunglasses as a case study of uh, far-fetched research and development. A life on either the Arctic Ocean or the humongous ice cap in Antarctica brings about quite an attack from Mother Nature with albedo effect, radiation, there's a hole in the ozone layer and all of that together makes a pair of sunglasses when it gets windy very important. It needs to do two things, fit perfectly and protect your eyes. When you buy a wrong pair of sunglasses it's only when it's too late that you start feeling the itchy feeling of the eyes and then the eye burn of course. When we think the impossible, we believe that the impossible must be within reach. Clearly, the existing manufacturing process of 3D printing for sunglasses makes it possible to totally mold a pair of sunglasses to my not-so-normal face. I have a high bridge and so these all my sunglasses were way too high and I looked through the bottom of the sunglasses which let in the albedo and the radiation. So there was room for improvement and a scan of my face and then adaptations afterwards. Uh, we've come to a perfect pair of sunglasses. The pair of sunglasses that uh, Materialize uh, customized did not provide any fogging up, which then freezes, of course, and then you have a problem. The fitting was uh, near perfection. I didn't uh, have that void. The vision uh, was perfect. The new pair was uh, really a nice addition to all of the customized gear. I see that there is like this limitless potential for 3D printing and I do believe in it. So hopefully when I have a problem that is almost unsolvable for any piece of equipment, I'll come and uh, knock on your door. I could take the final product to the North Pole and the goal of that expedition was to fly from the jumping off point being Spitsbergen to the floating base called Barnio, which is 111 kilometers to the North Pole. But what uh, I've promised to do is take these sunglasses to the Antarctic, which will happen next November. And with that, you'll have uh, your sunglasses on both extreme places of our Mother Earth, so it's quite unique.